make it easy for you. And it all comes down to knowing five letters. A, B, C, D, and E. Dr. Natalie Depsick smith is here to explain what each letter stands for. She is a dermapathologist in Greensboro and the medical director of the melanoma program at the Cone Health Cancer Center. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks, Eddie. That's a lot to say. <laughs> well, luckily, we kept it in order, right? Yes. A, B, C, D, E. The important thing, though, is that E is the most important, evolution. If a mole is changing and it's at all new to you, it's concerning. And that's the biggest thing to take away. So if you ignore me for A, B, C, D, please pay attention to me for E. So A is asymmetry. So if it's different from one side of the next, we're concerned about it. If the border is regular, for example, I'm a terrible baker, my pies are very irregular, <laughs> you want them to be round, mine are kind of scalloped on the side, that's never good with a mole. Color, if it's changing or if it's different from one side to the next, and diameter, if it's bigger than about a pen, the end of a pen. We used to say pencil, no one uses pencils anymore. Everyone uses their iPhone, mine's this broken. True. So, um, <laughs> but an E though, evolution, that's the biggest thing. When, when, you, when spring is coming in, you know, clothes are coming off, you're starting to notice right. things about yourself. This, the, the, you may see a new mole, you may see something that looks different than the year before or uh, before you took off your winter clothes. Right. Um, and that's important to get checked out. And you see your dermatologist, see your primary care physician to have a skin check and especially anything new. And a lot of times people think, well, it's going to be in a place where, um, you know, maybe it's hidden by the sun, but that's not necessarily true. It can be anywhere. It can be anywhere. You know, we see, remember, skin cancer, most common cancer in the world. So as a function of that, we see skin cancer pretty much everywhere. We see it. That's why it's important to get a professional skin check. The bottoms of the feet, behind your ears. Mm -hmm. Have a partner look at you, too, because it's hard to see your back. I found one on my husband this morning. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So he's getting checked out. Well, that's mine. had one on the back of his neck. Had to have removed. Um, and then I had a friend who had it in between her toes. Yes. Yeah. Which is incredible. Yes, you about. know, and that that acryl type of in, in usually that unfortunately is something concerning, like melanoma, right. and that's what we deal with very uh, uh, at the melanoma melanoma disciplinary program at Cone. Mm -hmm. um, in the toes area, we see that in a lot of African American patients. So you can see this even without sun exposure. So right. it's important to get checked out. So if you see a spot that might be concerning to you, maybe that E, that evolution, it's changed some, what do you do? Well, the first thing is make an appointment. Make an appointment with your dermatologist. Find a dermatologist. We've got some great dermatologists in town, close to town. And if they find something, or your primary care physician. Mm -hmm. You know, we can take care of you here close to home at Cone with the multidisciplinary program. We've got a great cohort of physicians from all different treatment specialties. And even if it's melanoma, and I hope it's not, I hope you catch right. it early. Right. But even if it is, over the last three years, we've seen a lot of advents of treatments, immunotherapy treatments, uh, targeted gene therapy treatments right. for melanoma that have really increased the survival for patients, even with advanced melanoma. It's very encouraging for melanoma. So don't be afraid to get checked out. Get it checked out. We want you to find it early and not need us, but if you do, we're here. Early is key. Yes. Early is key. Because Early is key for is everything. Yeah. <laughs> but especially for your skin, I think. Yes. So. And don't forget that sunscreen. Absolutely. No matter what. Absolutely. I think people, unfortunately, sunscreen is one of those things where it, it needs to become a habit. Right. If you don't put it on regularly, you forget about it. And even just driving to work, you know, that little bit of exposure through the window, uh, even just that little bit is enough to cause chronic sun damage and skin cancer. So we want you to put it on, we want you to reapply it, especially when you're out there in the water activities, that's yep. really important, and or tennis, because I believe that you might have a tennis match <laughs> later today. And we really want to also emphasize that tanning beds are no good. Yeah. Stay out of the tanning beds. We see a huge increase in skin cancer in young women because of tanning bed exposure. Wow. No exposure level is safe in tanning beds, so stay away from them. A spray tan, if you want to be brown, is good alternative, but remember, it doesn't protect you from the sun. Right. Uh, it makes you brown, but it but doesn't you keep you. You still have to put the sunscreen on. Yes, yeah. definitely. Good to see you, Doctor. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Hey, Cone Health will be offering free cancer screening starting next week until June 3rd. You can go to Greensboro, Reedsville, Mebbin, or Burlington to find out more. Go to conehealth.com/classes or go to 336-832-8000 to register for a screening. And for more information on treatments and support groups. For all types of cancer, go to conehealth.com slash cancer. House Call on Fox 8 is sponsored by Cone Health.